Are we seeing more ethnic Marias today? That's rude. Uh, is there any more? <clears throat> oh, um, sorry, I thought you two auditioned already. You heard me sing, but I wanted to show you the pure masculine power and intensity I would bring to Tony if and when he graced me with the part. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I've asked your obvious Maria elect to do a cold ring with me, not from West Side Story, but from the play it's originally based on. William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. I might I just add that I only read through the scene once ten minutes ago and I'm already off book. So you're playing Romeo, Kurt? Picture, if you will. Juliet's boudoir. post -coitus. Wilt thou be gone? It is not yet near day. It was the nightingale and not the lark that pierced the fearful hollow of thine ear. Nightly she sings on yon pomegranate tree. Believe me, love, it was the nightingale. Tis the lark. The herald of the morn, no nightingale. Look, love, <laughs> what envious streaks do lace the severing clouds in yonder east. Night candles are burnt out, and Jock and Day stands tiptoe on the misty mountain tops. I must be gone and live, or stay and die. Doubt light is not daylight, I know it. I, it is some meteor that the sun exhaled to be to thee a torchbearer to light thee on thy way to Mantua. Therefore, stay yet. Thou needst not be gone. And let me be taken. Let me be put to death, for I am content that it will have it so. I'll say that yon gray is not the morning eye. Tis but the pale reflex of Cynthia's brow. <laughs> no, no, that is not the lark, whose notes do beat the vaulty heaven so high above our heads. I have more care to say than will to go. <laughs> Home, death, welcome, for Juliet wills it so. <laughs> Uh. Kurt, I'm so sorry. Kurt, 